I'm so glad I won that. Dude, I I use the Aurora Art, and I can never get the sword one to proc. The sword one, you have to, like, rapidly press X. Is this a new dialogue? Congratulations, Reed. What's the matter, Reed? I don't think he was really trying. Really? Huh? You think? I mean, no, I'm not actually being sarcastic. It sounds like I am, but... But that's okay. I fought as hard as I could, and it was fun. He missed the guarded you twice. Besides... I have a feeling I'll see him again someday. Oh, really? I'm sure you will. Are you referencing the, uh, Radiant Mythology games that only, like, one of them got localized? <laughs> um... First of all, I was not expecting Crest to have a Mystic Art. Second of all, the Aurora Sword tech, I just don't know how to use it. I think I've only used it, like, once in my entire life. I don't know how to use the Aurora Sword extension. You have to, like, use the wall, which is what I did when I'm low on HP. And after that, you have to... After that, you have to, uh, rapidly press X. I think it says in the menu, actually. Yeah, a godlike trans- it doesn't say how to proc it, never mind. This is gonna be useful for the final boss, I'll go more into that later. Yeah, you have to like rapidly press X, but the timing for it is so weird. I'm also gonna play as Pharah for like the rest of the game. But uh, you have to- you have to just use the uh, Aurora Sword during the wall, like the first one. And you have to like rapidly press X or something, but the timing for it's so weird. I was trying to do that and I was like, oh, I really would love it if it worked right now because I need it. And then I was so scared because I was at 1 HP. I was so low and I had no more reverse stalls and I was like, oh, dude, if I don't get this Demon Twist Megasonic Thrust off, I lose. Because I would not have been able to get out safely. My word, that was super close. Super, super close. I'm glad I won though. All right, let's do this stupid cooking contest again. The most asinine omelet. And then after this, we're just finishing the game. We have nothing else to do. And I really got to get this game done. And I think Shizel's Castle is going to take at least two hours. Everything in Shizel's Castle, including the ending. Hopefully, I don't have trouble on the final Kramel. Because that'll add more time. You already read this, so I'm just speeding through this. Oh my word, dude. That that crest fight had me dying. I don't like that crest fight. That's like the worst fight in Fantasia. Just because you're so limited in what you can do. And also, Eternia's combat flaws come into fruition. It's just really tedious. And also, you saw it kind of depended on luck. I got really lucky on crest deciding like to use Rising Phoenix and leave himself open. And also just comboing me. But if you give him too much space, he could just spam Sonic Blade on you. And you just can't do anything about it. It's really stupid. I honestly thought the Valkyrie fight was going to be much worse. The Valkyrie fight was longer, but also we can use items. So the Valkyrie fight wasn't too bad compared to Cress. It was still annoying, but those two fights are just not fun. Mostly because they're 1v1s in a dated Tales of game. And the Cress one, you just can't use items. I really wish they would let you use items. Symphonia's cameo fight lets you use items. Abyss's cameo fight lets you use items. I don't see why they can't for that one fight in Eternia. Other than the fact that it's the ter third Tales of game. That's why they don't. But still, it would be so much better if you could. It would still keep the challenge. It wouldn't make it any easier. It would just make it more fun and manageable. Even then, it wouldn't be that much more fun. But it would make it more manageable. Okay, this stupid omelet. We have to Apparently, I have to pick lemon. That is stupid. I want to make that very clear. That's dumb. I'm really looking forward to seeing if anyone in the comments argues about lemon in an omelet being okay because i just do not see it and i'm not an omelet person i cannot wait to see the youtube comments for this yeah look at here the worst uh ingredient for an omelet all of these are bad even pasta is questionable, even though pasta... I would prefer pasta than lemon, but even that's questionable, so... Lemon. How are the omelets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Differences... Okay, this is all the same. 
is dumb. It's very dumb. I'm literally, like, I'm livid about that. That's stupid. So, according to Chaz, should have this. Time's up. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for your patience. We'll now proceed. Our guests will first taste Miss Farah's. Good. Finally got it. I hope you, like, get sick and die. What do you think? How does it taste? Yum! Screw off! Screw off! Oh, get out of here! This is it! This is the taste I've longed for! You're, you're a weirdo. A zesty omelette with that fresh lemony tang. I don't want to be here anymore. This is how my mom made it when I- Yeah, your, your mom's- your mom's an idiot. Your mom's a moron. Holy smokes, the entry has received the top score. Now let's return to the Taste Masters. Your mom should be, like, arrested for attempting to poison people. It would appear the Taste Master has conceded defeat. We have a winner, Miss Farah Orsted. Yeah, in a dumb competition. That is so stupid. Chambar Bistro will confer a new title on Farah. Thank you. Three star chef. Sure, whatever. Not in my world. I would I would not eat a lemony omelet. You did it, Farah. I wouldn't eat an omelet, period, but gross. Thanks, I owe it all to you guys. Goodbye and never look back. Goodbye and never look back. Are there more rounds? Probably, but I don't I don't want to do them. I, I wanna at least like what is, what is the next round? It's gonna be so much mastering of dishes, I, I don't have the time. The only thing I have mastered with Farah is garden salad. So unless it's garden salad, I'm gonna have to go out of my way. I have to at least see what the next dish is. Probably gonna be as stupid as the omelet. Oh yeah, there's another cooking contest. Let's at least see what they want. It's probably gonna be as dumb as the omelet thing. Actually, you know what? Maybe. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new challenger. Maybe while we're in Shizel Castle, we can uh, try to master another dish. Hailing from a remote village of Rasheen's a master of home cooking, Miss Farah Orsted. Maybe we can do that. Again, it depends what the dish is. It's probably going to be as stupid as the stupid omelette. Like, hey, something you wouldn't expect in this ingredient or in this dish. We, you have to put in it to win. Is that Farah's master? Or am I remembering wrong? I don't know. It looks familiar. He looks familiar. Tell us your name. What do you do for a living? Yeah, it's Franco. I knew it. My name is Franco. I'm the master of the martial arts dojo. Oh my, in that case, you must be very strong. Now I feel like I have to do this. I like pot pie. Can you tell us what kind of pot pie? Do I even have pot pie? Naturally, the kind that's chock full of nutrition and energy. Do I even have any pot pie? We have an order. An energy-packed pot pie, please. What are you looking so anxious about? Everyone's going to be fine, I'm telling you. Everything's going to be fine. Words, leave it to me. Do I even have pot pie as a recipe? I do. Oh, you know what? T tell you what, chat. We will... I'll cook pot pie every single battle, and if we master it, then that's great. And if we do, and we're in the middle of Shizel's castle, I'll go back and try to do that one. But we, we really gotta... I gotta start making progress on finishing the game. I need more pasta, more milk. And shrimp. Where can I buy pasta, milk, and shrimp? Maybe some in here. We'll just have that cooking while we're in Shizel's castle. Pasta, shrimp, and then milk. Oh, and we have to go stop at Tunisia for Max's perfect everything. So, we have to go to Tunisia also and get Max's final weapon. Because we should have enough gold for it. Does anyone in chat want to do a quick Google search and let me know what the ingredients are? Or not the ingredients, like, 
let me know what it is for pot pie because I have a feeling they're gonna do something as stupid as the omelet thing preemptively I would greatly appreciate it just look up all the cooking rounds or something you'll probably find something about it I would greatly appreciate it while I do Shizel's castle and while I do Tanisia to go get Max's final weapon If not, I'll just do it myself when I master a pot pie. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna use a holy bother for like all of Shizel's castle. That way we'll do some fights, but we don't have to... But we don't have to do like too many fights in Shizel's castle just to speed it along. Because we've been, we've been, uh, we battled there. We actually battled the enemies there prior when we were trying to learn, what's it called? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Celestia Port, thank you. Second with Franco, you need Karima, egg pasta, and cheese. I don't know what Karima tastes like. Egg pasta and cheese is are the ingredients for pot pie. I've never had Karima. I don't even know what Karima is, to be honest. So I can't say how that would taste. <laughs> oh, not shrimp. Okay, so in this case, you take out the shrimp for Karima, apparently. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what Karima is. <laughs> I have no idea. Are there any other rounds after two? Like, how many rounds are there total? If there's like five, I'm not doing them. How many total rounds? If there's five, I'm not doing them all. Because that's just too much mastering dishes. If there's like three, I'll do- I'll probably do all three. I'll go out of my way to do all three, probably. Again, I really like Tales of Eternia, so I'm trying to get the most out of this playthrough. I still really love Tales of Eternia. It's a good- it's a good Tales game. It's a good classic Tales game. I really love it. I don't know why I just went up here. We need to go to Shaleska's hideout for this. But if there's three rounds, I'll probably go out of my way to do the last round. If there's five, probably not. If there's four, probably not also. But if there's three, I'll probably do them all. Plus, Tales of Eternia does not, like, get much attention, I feel. So... Being someone who loves the game, I want to do, like, basically all the relevant content. Because I feel like Tales of Eternia in general is overshadowed and doesn't get much attention, and not many people have done, like, full playthroughs of them. Now, that being said, I'm not gonna, like, 100% the game, because 100% the game is doing the post-game dungeon and getting all the titles, and I'm not that crazy. But, I still want to do, basically, a good portion of Eternia's content, because I do really enjoy the game. At the end of the day, I have my issues with it. I think there's one more weapon for Max. Yeah, at this point, I just, like, keep donating until I get the final weapon. Bum, bum... Three rounds? Okay, we'll do them all, I think. That shouldn't be too bad. Do you know what the dish is? What is the dish for the last round? Yokai? Like, what, what recipe is it? Just so I can start mastering it ahead of time. How long do I have to donate? I've been donating. There we go, Mega Launcher. That should be the final weapon for Max. <laughs> that took all my funds, but it was worth it. You know what, take Reed out for a bit. Let's take Reed out for a bit, because we've been using Reed, like, all stream. I've been playing as Reed for all of stream. Okay, now, Shizel's Castle. We just start knocking out Shizel's Castle.
gonna try to not speed run Shizel's castle, but I wanna I wanna go through it relatively quickly because I need to have this I need to be done with stream like at a reasonable time. Seafood pasta with snow tomatoes instead of normal tomatoes. Do I have a seafood pasta? I do. Oh, it's one star. Perfect. All right. The only recipe I had to go get was the was the omelet. Every other recipe I just happened to have from finding Wonder Chefs. I didn't find all the Wonder Chefs, but again, really no point in finding them all. Doesn't really serve much purpose, other than probably a title, but again, titles are worthless. Okay, with snow tomatoes. I think we get snow tomatoes at the top of Mount Celsius. I'm pretty sure. I remember reading, uh, reading in my side quest list, you get snow tomatoes at Mount Celsius. So we will have to go back to Mount Celsius, but that's fine. For now, we'll just start Shizel's castle. We're gonna have to do two trips in Shizel's castle then. Because, like, we gotta go back to Chambar Bistro, etc. Oh, and I need to give, uh, I never gave Reed the Eternal Sword. Even though we're not using Reed right now. We'll use him for the final fight, though. But I want to give him the Eternal Sword just so he has it. Goodbye, Last Fencer. Thank you for all your help with that crest fight. Wait, do I not? Where, where's Eternal Sword? Oh, it's up here. Oh, look at this. So thematic. The weapon from Cress himself. Uh, instead of Protect Ring, give me, like... Give me, a. Uh... Oh, Reed, give me the warrior symbol you have. Just take all of Reed's stuff out, and I'll put that on Pharah. Heal, I'm gonna give you the, uh... Airy Ring, and then I'll give you a Mental Ring. Cancellor is fine for you, and then maybe be word. Uh, maybe what is it? Holy symbol. Yes, yeah, is fine. What's with SD? Wasn't that the weapon too? SD is not in the quit. It's a key item, I think. I'm pretty sure it was. I mean, I didn't see it in the sword list. But yeah, no, I don't think that's a weapon. I didn't see it in the equip list. I think SD is something else. Some kind of key item. Oh well. Let's go! This track reminds me of Tales of Destiny. Which, I mean, this is, um... This is, um... What's it called? This is, uh, a... A Tales of game, so like, you know, obviously saying this is like another Tales of game. This reminds me of the Aether Sphere, though. The barrier surface. Gives me Aether Sphere vibes. Like Destiny. Let's go! So I'm probably gonna Holy Bottle, like, mostly through this dungeon. We'll still do fights. I'm not gonna, like, run from battles or anything. But, um... So last time we went down, we have to go up. Oh, and do we still have to fight the the, the Supreme Kramel? That'll be interesting. We still gotta do the Supreme Kramel. Who has indignation? Is it Merity? It's Keel. I need to put Rem back on Merity. And then Maxwell back on Keel. I did just remember we had to fight the Supreme Kramel, but like that's in Shizel's castle, so we just do that while we're here. Blah, blah, blah. No, auto. I think this is a team I'm gonna try using for the Supreme Kramel. The final boss will use the uh we'll use uh Reed instead of Max. If I have trouble, I'll take like Merity or Keel out for Reed. 